What's up everybody this is Gil and on today's date June 30th in 1975, Muhammad Ali defeated Joe Bugner by unanimous decision to retain his WBA and WBC heavyweight titles before an estimated crowd of 22,000 at Merdeka Stadium in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Ali was making his third title defense in 100 days after reclaiming the championship from George Foreman in October 1974. His rematch with Bugner, who Ali also beat by unanimous decision in February 1973, was the champ's last bout before he fought Joe Frazier for a third time in the Thrilla in Manila. Ali nicknamed the greatest, is regarded as one of the most significant sports figures of the 20th century and is often regarded as the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time. Joe Bugner twice held the British and British Commonwealth heavyweight titles and was a three-time European heavyweight champion. He was ranked among the world's top 10 heavyweights of the 1970s fighting every heavyweight out there. Bugner and Muhammad Ali fought for the World Championship in June 1975, the bout being held in Kuala Lumpur, with Ali winning a relatively one-sided 15-round decision. Bugner performed fairly well but maintained a strictly defensive posture throughout most of this fight, perhaps due to the blistering tropical heat, and as a result, he was widely scorned by the media and public. In an interview during an April 2008 reunion with Henry Cooper, Bugner defended his tactics in the Ali fight as having been necessary due to the extreme temperature and humidity of the outside venue. Join me tomorrow as we look at another important moment in boxing history.